Hey everyone, I hope that you're doing fantastic. Thanks for joining for the next 24 hour rune reading. Today is a new month, October the 1st, 2019, and it does break down to 14, which is a 5. So we're getting the Hierophant dealing with uh, marriages, partnerships, spiritual matters, institution. Any, the, the Hierophant is so, it's large because it represents society itself. So anything going on in society, uh, anything from your spiritual, your spirituality to uh, tradition to anything that you're dealing with, government issues, uh, having a good understanding of something, a change, it's five. It's also the 14, which is the temperance card which is the um, Jupiter energy and we know that it's already a karmic time that we're in since the Sun is in uh, Libra and uh, Libra and the Hierophant is uh, makes that Empress energy so that's already in itself public stuff society right and uh, so Jupiter there is karmic and today's date um, you know it, it's very karmic today and uh, it can be very, very beautiful and fortunate every day. You know, it just depends on what you and I create uh, in our moments. And uh, but we had beautiful energy come out. Um, you know, it came out both ways um, on the first tarot reading that I did today. But the energy is uh, a lot more uh, <laughs> settled down than it was yesterday. But anyway, let's go ahead and just see what Spirit brings out in the room reading for the next 24 hours, what we need to focus on, what what the what the message is for the collective. We just thank you, sweet divine, for clear to find messages. I just bless everyone watching this uh, video who has clicked upon it. I just send forth the uh, strength and hope and, and uh, love and light to their day. And I just ask that you just help them to make the correct decisions in this karmic time that we're finding ourselves in. I bind and block all negative forces right here, right now, and I command for the truth to come to the surface and give us a profound word as you always do, sweet divine, straight from your place of wisdom right here in this real time. What do we need to know today? We already got one coming up here. Um, I think this is water. I think it's called the Laguz or something like that. We'll see. I'm not sure if y'all can see that very well. And But anyway, it looks like a hook. Something like that. Let's see here. It is the uh, Laguz. Like I said, it's the L. And so the L in our alphabet would be the 12th. The 12th letter. Okay. Um, and so it's the 21st letter in this runic alphabet. So we just take that, <laughs> the 12, and take the 1 and put it on the other side of it. And that's amazing. It's amazing to me because uh, I was looking at the Hebrew this morning. And uh, the 12th letter of the Hebrew is sitting here. <laughs> that's amazing. So this is a for sure word that we're fixing to get here. And this represents the, the Lamid, which is the teacher. And I've talked about that before. It's the teacher's staff. And it means to push and to pull and to protect the sheep because sheep are dumb, right? You and I have to, to have our head on straight and listen to the great teacher of the divine because we're dumb. I mean, we're not dumb, but we're dumb if we don't listen to our teacher in heaven, the spirit, right? Um, but the, it's to push or pull and to protect the sheep from moving, to move something in a new direction. Something brand new is happening today. We know that because the date changed. The month changed. It's the 10. The 10th month is Jupiter energy. And that is also the 10th house is Saturn energy, which is 21 as well. That's amazing to me. And something something brand new here. And it's about teaching and learning and um Amazing, and the three is the Empress energy, so something's huge today. Let's go ahead and just take a look here and see. Uh, and what is the actual letter of this? Is the L, like I said. So if that means anything, person, place, or thing, or the number three means anything to anyone, or somebody might be your Empress, or 
or you're somebody's empress or something like that. Be, be beautiful today, inside or, and out, no matter where you find yourself. Be artistic. Uh, be romantic with your partner if you're able to. Be uh, a person that is of good reward. Be truthful, right? Be balanced. Uh, be a mentor. You know, the higher fit represents mentors and teachers. Your morality, your ethics, right? Beautiful spiritual matters and stuff like that. And uh, be able to lead people who are, you know, ignorant now not stupid but ignorance ignorance and stupidity is different when you're stupid you just you know better it's in my definition of that but when people are ignorant of something they're going in a in a way like you know what we call them dumb sheep and we've all been a dumb sheep somewhere in our lifetime we've had to have the divine come and send somebody in our path to help lead us to push and prod us in ways to get us in on a path that will be prosperous for us the will of fortune jupiter energy represents being prosperous it's fortune it's teaching, it's learning, it's faded things. It's a higher mind of a way of thinking, right? Not that, not that. Oh, uh, you know, being ignorant of things because you don't, you just want to sit there and not learn from the heavens. We've seen the four of cups today in the first reading, and that cup is being handed right out of the heavens, and the guy's sitting underneath that tree. Are you going to take it today and learn from that place and prosper and let the will go in a very prosperous fortunate way for for you it's really our choice every single day and then the 21st uh, card in the deck is completing test it's saturn it's integrity it's also very spiritual but it's also very very natural right it's successful uh traveling just like jupiter energy traveling in the mind traveling physically it's banks money it's it's triumphant victory it, when we pass them tests. It's very, very karmic stuff coming out here, y'all. And so this represents water. So our emotions, got to get them balanced, right? Because today's date being a 14, making that five, it is temperance. It's balancing. It's management. I, I'm just so amazed at how the creator can bring everything out and tie it together. So beautiful. And it does represent balance. Oh, my gosh, it's so beautiful. It represents balance, and it represents introspection. It's important. It represents the subconscious mind. So that's moon-like stuff. We're talking about water. We are because the moon it pulls on us. We just had that new moon. It represents medicine. Well, you and I, when we're a teacher, we are medicine to someone. When you can go and get somebody out of their ignorance, that's a medicine to their soul. This represents some of you may be dealing with uh, actual doctors today, and uh, they that that they give medicine, right? And uh, some people need to be on medicine, and some of you all be dealing with uh, doctors and stuff like that. Um, the uh, it means tribulations, and some people are gonna go find themselves in tribulation today, and some people are gonna find themselves getting out of it because they've decided to pay attention to the teacher, the divine, and let that will turn a different way. Because uh, Saturn's still Saturn, y'all. You could either have it, it be victorious for you, or you can get the devil energy like we had yesterday come out. Um, also, it represents humiliation, and some people coming out of being humiliated, and some people, like I said, the will's turning either way. And it means, oh, I apologize. Well, I guess I said that on purpose, but really I read it wrong, but it still applied. But it really, it, it means humiliation and disagreement to be overcome. Beautiful. And like I said, I guess I did say that some people going into things, because we know that will goes either way. But the world card, we've seen the person holding the world in their hands. It's amazing, because yesterday I heard that song, uh, make the world go away well we make it go away when we stand in integrity and we get everything balanced our emotions balanced our passions balanced our mind balanced right and we pay attention to the great divine as our teacher and we allow him to poke us and prod us and to move us in a direction that's going to get success for you and i every time we've got to pay attention this is spirituality this is spiritual here I love it, y'all. This is beautiful energy coming out today. I hope that you all have a fantastic one. Until next time, shalom.